Hey, you all right? Be more careful. Inventory. Every coin was wisely spent. Just the show. Marissa, you brought outsiders to our main base. Have you forgotten the vigilance and pride of the Thorned Guards? Master Eomir, we have something important to report. Aaron, Lyca, Lawson, and I saw the real culprit behind the corruption, a graveborn woman in a black dress. Go on. Master Eomir. He is a mage invited by Lawson the Wind Whisperer. He successfully cleansed the corruption and unraveled the mystery of its spread. He discovered that all the corrupted roots underground extend towards the Lucent's tree. That Greyfawn woman is trying to corrupt our sacred Lucent tree. The evidence is conclusive. I implore you, Master Eomir, to redeploy the Thorn Guards and focus on searching for the real culprit. Aaron, Lyca, is what she just said true? Yes, Misate above. What Parissa said is absolutely true. We hope you'll kindly accept his help and consider lifting the exclusion edict. Very well. Oh, Parissa, my dear Parissa, I'm very disappointed in you. Pardon? Do you take me for a fool? You want to make a name for yourself by fabricating this lie. On top of that, you're conspiring with the likes of a Dusk Patroller and a Wind Whisperer. A mage from the outside, huh? The spread of the corruption you mentioned was previously verified by the Thorned Guards. According to our intelligence, Every location and spread of the corruption aligns with your movements. What are you trying to say? You fool. Listen, young Wind Whisperer. The mage you brought from the outside is the one spreading corruption. 
Otherwise, why is he the only one who can cleanse the corruption? Master Eomir, you're wrong. He has been helping us all this time. Even if you're a sage, I shall not allow you to slander him in that manner. Lawson, the Wind Whisperer who brought the maids to the forest. Lyca, the Dusk Patroller. And Aeron, the Scion of the Lucent Tree. By linking yourselves to the corruption and the actual culprit, you are trying to influence the hearts of the Wilders with the false image of saviors. You are the corruption that needs to be cleansed from the forest. Get out, outsiders, yeah. leave! <laughs> Capture these outsiders and traitors! First, you want them out, then you want them captured. What a masterpiece of terrible hospitality. Who are you? Their ally? Outsider. <laughs> Just another uninvited guest. Here for the show. Go! Stop her! <coughs> hey, you lot. Quit daydreaming and move it! Well, I guess I'll take my leave too. Adios! Honey, after them! Make me more merciful. My little baby keeps growing. Medicine's more potent, so the price needs to match. Hey, you all right? The medicine's more potent, so the price needs to match. Hmm? I think I grew taller.
I thought I could get Master Eomir to change his mind. I thought he would at least care about the future of our forest. Marissa, it's not your fault. Master Eomir's reaction took everyone by surprise. Don't worry. The Dusk Patrollers will be with you even without the Thorn Guards. Hmm. I agree with him. Regardless of Eomir's past achievements or the kindness he's shown you, he is now just an old man who cannot distinguish right from wrong. I don't even have the vocabulary to curse him out. By the way, who was that human girl who helped us? Even we had to go through so much trouble to bypass the Thorn Guards. But she just popped up out of nowhere on top of that tent. I know, right? If we weren't so busy running for our lives, I'd stop and applaud her. Non-wilders have been banned from the forest ever since the exclusion edict was issued. Let alone getting past the guards. We must not underestimate her. Fortunately, based on what happened at the camp, she seemed more friend than foe. If that Graveborn lady really is after the Lucent tree, we need to head there and inspect the surroundings first. If that Graveborn lady shows up again, we'll be counting on you. The Lucent Tree isn't far from here. Let's rest up before setting out. Well, victory is deserved. your service.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Kneel before the king! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Every bit of growth is worth celebrating. Every bit of growth is worth celebrating. Phew. Experience honed on the battlefield. Guys got away fast. Hey, handsome. The first thing you should say to your savior is thank you. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm Atalanta, a famous treasure hunter. Hmm. How strange. You're with a group of wilders and you know nothing about the hidden treasure in the dark forest? Anyway, I'm here for that. And if you want to know more, you'll need to pay. Treasure hunter? No wonder you're so skilled. You even escaped from Eomir and his wilders. Eomir? Oh, that old man who went after you. I was hiding on top of the tent, trying to eavesdrop on any info about the treasure. Then he started with all that outsiders and corruption nonsense. Who does he think he is? I hate people who act all high and mighty. Outlander. You must not disrespect Master Eomir. <laughs> you really can't see it, can you? Are you trying to protect your pride or something? Whatever, let's drop this. I have nothing more to say to a stubborn woman like you. As a matter of fact, I hate talking to people like you. <laughs> By the way, that corruption you mentioned at the camp, were you referring to the dark plants that look decayed? Well, there's one in the camp nearby. This information is on the house. A little present for pulling off that escape from that old wilder. What? There's corruption around here too? It's so close to the loose sentry. Miss Atalanta, thank you for your help. Save your thanks. Remember, you owe me one. See ya! Thank <laughs> you. 
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Are you? We're... Are you... Lady Illusia's assistant? We're so sorry! We shouldn't have overstepped our bounds! You see, this route just underwent transformation not long ago. We want to observe a bit more to ensure everything's perfect before pulling back. Are you and the client happy with the transformation results here? Aren't these wilders behind you, new clients? Rest assured that the one we've worked with recently has nothing but praise for everything we've done. Uh, right. We're here to check the results. Can you disclose the name of your client? That's a breach of confidentiality. We can't afford any information leaks. Since we have your permission, then we can tell you. It's Master Iamir from the Thorned Faction. Iamir? Master Iamir, how is this even possible? Ah, oh, that old man. Is he trying to betray the forest now? What? What's wrong? Do you know him? Of course, we have a lesson to teach him. And you, Grove Killers! You're not even worth getting up for.
Well, victory is deserved. Why would Eomir want to corrupt the Lucent Tree? He no longer deserves to be called a sage. Parissa, are you all right? Please give me some time to come to terms with this. Of course. Magister, your guess was correct. The corrupted roots underground here are spreading to the north. What exactly does Eomir gain from corrupting the Lucent Tree? He already has influence, power, and a respected position. Once the truth is revealed, that'll tarnish his reputation and he'll lose everything. Does he want to get rid of the faction system and control the Dark Forest by himself? That traitor! If only we'd found out what he was doing earlier. Lawson, this is not the time for self-doubt. Nobody could have predicted Ermir's betrayal. What we need to do now is pull ourselves together. We are the only ones who know the truth and can stop Ermir. Laika. Right. But I can't figure out why Eomir would corrupt the forest. I've marked down the corrupted spots here. What's our next move? Shall we proceed to the Lucent Tree? Look, there's something coming at us.
Come out to my side and fight for me! in our lesson.
The corrupted roots near Lunadorf exhibit signs of resurgence. Any advancements from your endeavors? Bryon, we found the real culprit behind the corruption. It's Eomir. We found out he was working with the Adamant Syndicate, and their ultimate target is... the Lucent Tree. Hmm, I figured. Master Arden, prior to his retreat into the Veduso Mountains, had explicitly advised me to observe Eomir's actions, suggesting an innate foresight. Otherwise, he wouldn't have urged Lawson to seek external assistance, nor task me with summoning Aeron back. Conveying and acquiring information is what we Wind Whisperer do. Alas, our prolonged inability to reach Master Arden leaves us in the dark about his current status. Is everything all right with Grandpa Arden? His situation remains obscure. I shall persist in attempting to re-establish contact with him. It is advisable for you to focus on the present circumstances. The Thorn Guards have erected a blockade around the Lucent Tree, indicating potential maneuvers by Eomir. Your attentiveness is implored. Additionally, during Ilona's investigative pursuits, anomalies were observed in the Eastern Flower Grove and the Northeastern Forest. If those two places are corrupted too, doesn't that mean the corruption has basically taken over the entire Dark Forest? Show me the map. Along with the corruption on the East and Northeast, they've encircled the Lucent- This! This is a big magic circle centered around the Lucent Tree. Each corruption spot serves as a node for the magic circle. And once they are interconnected, the circle is complete. Amy has been living in the forest like the rest of us and knows little about magic. Creating a magic circle like this requires expertise of magic from the outside, along with a thorough knowledge of the forest. Although I'm not sure about the exact ties between Ermir, the Adamant Syndicate, and the Graveborn Lady, and whether she's the Lady Lawson mentioned. At least those Syndicate people didn't lie to us about Ermir. With all the evidence, there's no room for doubt. All this time, I've pledged my allegiance to the wrong person. As a member of the Thorned Faction, my one and only duty is to protect the forest. This will never change, no matter what. Bryon, time is of the essence. We've got to head out right now. Understood. I shall convey this information to Master Dani and the Dusk Patrollers. May the winds of justice always be with you. The Lucent Tree. The symbol of the Dark Forest, our sacred haven. I've often wondered, if I hadn't been born under your shade, would my life be any different? Even now, I still don't feel a connection with you. No divine revelation nor omen. But even so, I've come to realize my mission. Scion of the Lucent Tree or not, I am a member of the Dark Forest. It is time I wield my swords to protect you. Cecil, you came at a bad time. Looks like you've got a bit of a problem. Will these people affect your plan? What are you so worried about? You were given the power. Just like before. Make sure they don't trouble me. <sighs> hmm. Mere mortal. I'll tolerate you a little longer.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Rest on and rise!
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great!
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! Tommy! 
Coming to you! Rise strong and rise! Everyone's doing great!
not time! <laughs>
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Rock. 
great materials are everywhere. was a total success. was a total success.
Every bit of growth is worth celebrating.
Well, victory is deserved. is my former deputy. I remain the deputy unto Captain Parissa. I'm no longer captain of Thorned Guards, so you should stop calling me that. I do persist. Ooh. Outlander, utterance cometh only with Captain Parissa's grant. Kafra, he is a mage brought in by the Wind Whisperer, and I've seen him use magic firsthand. To clear out the corruption. Clear out corruption! An outlander grace with such might? It behoves us to accord him the utmost courtesy. I take it you're not working for Eomir? We are the subordinates of Captain Parissa. After the captain's departure, we have been reassigned and stationed hither. Were you all affected by my dismissal? We pledge fealty to the Thorned Faction. A sage bereft of wisdom merits no allegiance, verily. You saw more clearly than I did. Captain, we are assembled nigh. Thou mayest proceed to inspect and take respite. Bramo, Rosetta, secure the found provisions and make haste to return to camp.
Captain Barisa, I'm surprised to see you here. Although there's no place for us in the camp, we've been following your teachings and haven't slacked on our training for a single minute. You guys. Captain, our hearts do not covet the title of captain, but in thee, we place our unwavering trust. You're right. I should never have wasted my time on regrets. That's enough self-reflection. Parissa, what is needed now is action. Hmm. You are right. Kafra, did you notice anything strange from Ymir before he reassigned you? For instance, did he ever make contact with strangers? Was there any sighting of a woman in black near the camp? We need all the intel we can get. I do recall Rosetta hath submitted a report regarding the anomalous transfer of supplies. Yes, Captain. After you left, a new group of guards came to the main camp. I readied their equipment and counted the supplies. Then I noticed something unusual. The number of weapons didn't match the inventory list. They really cover their tracks with the transfer records. I wouldn't have caught it if I hadn't noticed something odd about the delivery locations. the forest. According to the records, under Master Eomir's name, multiple shipments of longbows and axes were dispatched beyond the forest to aid wilders in different regions. But the intel officer said there haven't been any requests for assistance in recent years. Are you saying that the Lightbearer bandits causing trouble at the forest entrance are getting support from Eomir? Only Wilders in the forest could have such a clear understanding of the Dusk Patroller's schedule. Because, other than the villagers, the Thorn Guards have the most frequent interaction with the patrol squads. Eomir, going so far as to spread corruption in the forest to snatch power from the other two factions and directing bandits to assault his own people. As a member of the Thorned faction, does he not feel guilty? Kafra, get everyone into their formation. Ooh. Captain? I will retake command of the Thorn Guards, admit our mistakes, and bear the consequences. It'll take some time, but acting now is better than regretting later. Everyone, I haven't taken action for too long, and I shall no longer let down the guards who have supported me. With you around, I trust we can cleanse the corruption. Now, the guards and I are going to make amends for the Thorned Faction's previous wrongs. Here, take this. I've inscribed my teleportation spell in this book. Although it can only be used one time, it can help you escape in a dire situation. It's time we bid farewell, my friends. Please save the Dark Forest. We're counting on you.
The corruption here is surprisingly severe. All the flowers here are corrupted! Curse it! That rascal Eamir! We need to hurry up and cleanse the corruption here.
strong and thrive. all at once. The magic drain is just way too much. Please take care of yourself. While magic is handy, your body is equally important. The Lucent Tree is our sacred tree. But we can't let you wear yourself out just to safeguard it. Because this isn't your obligation, but ours. The last patch of corruption is in the northeast. Please prioritize your well-being. Otherwise, I'd be so worried. The Dark Forest will always remember your favor. And will never spare that traitor colluding with our enemies. Quick, more earth! 
victory is deserved.
Everyone's doing great! Oh! 
Everyone's doing great! Coming for you! 
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great!
You desire an or being a noble is always being on top. Come out, my son, and fight for me! me.
Everyone's doing great! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. 